Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is George Fisher speaking to you from the inside lobby of the Pantages Theater and saying welcome to what is perhaps going to be the greatest event in motion pictures. At least I think it's going to be the greatest night in the history of motion pictures, for it is the premiere of A Star is Born. I think the most looked forward to motion picture in this year of 1954. A Star is Born, of course, stars wonderful Judy Garland, James Mason, Jack Carson, Charles Bickford, Tommy Noonan, lovely little Lucy Marlowe. And as you can tell from that camera, there are just thousands and thousands of people here at this fantastic opening at the Pantages Theater. Now, if you can look around, you'll see, I think, more people than I have ever seen at any premiere in Hollywood, and I would like to tell you that this is my 100th premiere. As you may notice at my side, I have four lovely movie star assistants. To my left, lovely Rosemary Bow, and also to the left of Rosemary, lovely Paula Raymond. And then the, the beautiful redhead, if we're in color, you could tell better, lovely Amanda Blake, another redhead, uh, Ann Robinson. These lovely assistants are going to grab the stars. There are some 250 here. I don't want to keep them waiting any longer. We're going to try to get as many as we can. The introductions may be brief. You may even see me push them aside a little faster than we would like to. But we would like you to be the first to see this wonderful crowd here at the A Star is Born premiere. So many stars have already come in. And it's a real pleasure to bring our first lady of the press, radio, and all the rest of it that goes with Luella Parsons' wonderful title. Luella, welcome here as the first guest on our TV show at A Star is Born and Jimmy McHugh. Thank, Thank you, you very much, George. We won't talk because you have so many wonderful stars waiting to get into this so wonderful picture. Well, Willie, you don't have to talk very much. Everything you say that's great and important is read by millions. So thank you very much for being <laughs> so understanding. Thank you, Bye-bye, dear. Thank you, Jim. Coming up now, thank you, Jim. Coming up now is a young lady here who has created quite a sensation, Universal Starlet, Miss Mamie Van Doren. Mamie, Mamie won't you come Van over? Thank you, Amanda. Mamie Van Doren, now this outfit, I think you should uh, kind of let us step back and see that. Cheesecakes and all, would you introduce your friend? Kevin Delroy. Kevin Delroy, very nice to see you, Just Kevin. Just came in from here. Wonderful, thank you. Mamie, we really wanted to show you uh, in this fabulous gown. Well, we have so many people, I do want to grab them all if I can. Thank you, you're very Bye. beautiful, I might say. Uh, Dean Martin, Mr. and Mrs. Dean Martin. I haven't much chance to say uh, too much of an introduction, Dean. I never saw so many people at a premiere. How about you? I think everybody's here. And this is a great picture. We're not supposed to say, but we saw this picture. And we're coming right back to see it again. Uh, how do you like Judy? Oh, she's oh. great. She's got to win everything. You know, you gotta, you got to let me put in a plug. You notice that I'm in the picture. I'm doing the same thing in the picture that I'm doing here tonight. Open you, it up. That's Pretty right. good action. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful <laughs> Thanks so much. Right. Shoot out this way. Right. Come on. George, I want you to talk to Gloria Graham. Cy Howard. Wonderful. Cy Howard. Ladies and gentlemen, the last time that Gloria Graham, who is now Mrs. Cy Howard, was in this theater was the Academy Award, the night of an award, I think, almost the last time. Gloria Graham, Cy, nice to see you. Nice to see you, Johnny. Thank you. You're going to stay with us? I'll stay with you. Uh, this is almost as big an opening of The Star is Born as it was at the Academy, don't you think? It would be a little bigger. <laughs> a little less nervous. A little less nervous. Wonderful. No, it's a wonderful night. Thank you so much for coming up. Thank you you notice I'm rushing everybody because there's so many wonderful That's stars right. like you. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, here's a great, great pal, Eddie Arnold and Mrs. Hello. Arnold. I just want to say this. Uh, many, many years ago, it was my pleasure to introduce the star of the stars born tonight that we're going to see. And then she was just a little bit of a girl in a uh, sailor blouse, a pleated skirt, and it was at a benefit. It was my pleasure to introduce her, and naturally we all believed and we know today that she is a great star, and we're going to see a great performance tonight. Judy Garland. Thank you, Eddie Arnold. It's Not in a midi blouse. <laughs> Thank you. Coming up to our microphone, John Hall. Oh, and Linda Dunn. Hey, Linda Dunn. Hey, hey, John, how are you? Nice to see you again. Raymar Thompson. <laughs> it's really a pleasure to be here. I want to congratulate, of course, uh, Jack Warner for bringing A Star is Born back to the public again. All of you Rama fans, be sure and go and see A Star is Born because you're not only going to see Miss Judy Garland, 
as a great new star in a rightful place, but it's it's a package that is for the whole family. George, we're very happy to be here. And Linda, well, let me I'm tell sure you something. about the oh, same, I feel don't great. You? One really word from Raymar, and I know all your fans will go. So thank you very much. I John. certainly hope they do. John Hall, Linda. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. No evening will be complete without Hedda Hopper. Well, I want you to know no evening is complete for me, unless I am standing very close to Hedda. How Hedda you, Hopper, it's a real pleasure to see you here tonight. Please. Well, it's wonderful to be here. I've lost my fellow, Dane Bob. Where is he? He got lost in the mob down there. Well, there he is. And you know, to tonight is really show business, isn't it? I think so. It's the you biggest. See, it's the biggest. Uh, five years ago, uh, Judy lost Anna Get Your Gun. And Betty Hutton got the part. Yesterday, Betty Hutton says that she's going to retire from show business. Now, have you ever heard anything like that the in your life? Switch and all switches. Yes, well, we've Hollywood never known. Story in itself. Well, we've never known anything like that in Hollywood, have you? No. You're looking wonderful. How many children have you? I have one, honey, and one coming in November. Thank you for mentioning it. Ah, <laughs> well, I still have one grandchild. Thank nice you to so see much. you. Here. And I can't find my fella. Where are Here you? Here he comes, Tad. Thank right. you, Hedda. Coming up now, a very dear friend of mine. George. One that you all know. A uh, fellow who has made a great, great success in Rear Window, Raymond Burr, but also a great success with the trips to Korea. So, Raymond, let me say right, welcome. Thanks. Did you bring uh, Evelyn up? Yes, Evelyn Russell. And introduce here. this boy who's just returned Evelyn? from Korea. Come over here, would you? Evelyn Russell, ladies Hi, and gentlemen. Hi, George. How are would you? Would you introduce your friend here to our TV audience? Yes, this is Frank Biddy, a boy that's uh, with us tonight. Right camera. back from, right back from Korea. Mr. and Mrs. Gene Herschel. I don't have to say much about Gene, except he's the number one man in this town for our money. Thank you, George. Would you get in and say hello? George, our mics, our George right I, I don't know if you can hear me, because it's such a noise. But after 42 years in Hollywood, I don't believe I've ever seen a premiere on an opening like this. That includes the uh, the Academy Awards. And I ought to know to that, because uh, well, I was me. ahead of it, you know. Gene, you certainly should know. Thank you very much for coming you. up. You can see our guest list is pretty big. Edward G. Robinson, Hi, ladies George. and gentlemen, and now, this is Miss Mrs. Anderson. We're Ms. just Anderson. making a debut in pictures. Well, how nice. Well, what we're pictures. doing now called, uh, well, of course, it would be called Dead Pigeon. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> my pictures have. Well, I want you to know that it's a real pleasure to see you, and I know our audience, a fast one on TV, by the way, Eddie, is yeah. delighted to see you because uh, an old Warner man like you would, would wish a great deal of success well, to thank Judy Garland. You, George, yeah. thank, thank you so much. Nice so nice to meet you. I have a great thrill here now for you all. One of the stars of the picture of A Star is Born, Mr. Jack Carson, who is a great MC, and he's going to present a little later on Georgie Jessel and Judy for you. Jack, would you take over? It's George, real exciting. Thank you very much. It's a great thrill to be here. This is, uh, I would say, without fear of contradiction, one of the finest pictures I've ever been in, and I, I've never been any, associated with anything of the stature of this nature. So we're all, it's a very thrilling evening. It's one of the biggest premieres we've ever had in Hollywood. And I certainly am thrilled to the bottom of my feet to be a part of it. I might say I'm a little nervous, too. But who have we next? Yeah, we're going to try to get everybody on here as fast as we can and get them off. You come in, you want me to go through? Donald Crisp, would you like to say a few words? It's awfully nice to have you with us. Thank you very much, Jack. And I'm very glad to see you. Well, it's awfully nice to see you best. again. I haven't, I haven't seen you since Bright Leaf. But have That's a good right. time and enjoy the picture. Thank, Thank you, so you very much, much sir. Uh, who is it? Virginia Mayo. Virginia Mayo, is it awfully nice to have you here? Thank you very How's much. How's the family? Wonderful. My uh, old man, my husband, uh, he couldn't be here tonight. He's home working on his television. Yeah, I've seen it. I think it's a wonderful show, and it's yeah. a shame he can't be here, but it's certainly nice to have you. And it's a great night for you and Judy uh, Garland. Oh, thrilled to death. I can wonderful. tell you that. I know it's, it's nice to have you. Wonderful to be here. Okay, Virginia, thank bye you very bye. much. Bye. So we got Marilyn Maxwell. How are you? It's awfully nice Jack. to have you here. Davis. How do you do? Oh, Good to see you. Yes, sir. Very exciting to Can be you here. say a few words to our television audience well, here? I think everything's been said, Jack. It should be said. It's most exciting, and I'm real thrilled to be here. Well, it's certainly it's awfully nice too. to have you, and I'm tickled to death to have you. Oh, I'm so nervous I could die. Oh, you'd be great. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Well, nice Thank to you. So long. Jack, it's Tony Hurado. Tony Hurado, how are you? It's awfully nice to have you with us tonight, and I... I'm very happy to see you, and I... Fine, I'm working hard. Well, it's just, I'm very fun. embarrassed and nervous. I'm not used Listen, to doing this sort of thing. I think this is the most wonderful thing in ever saw. The people, well, what the people are receiving us. I have never seen a premiere like this in my life, and believe me, I've seen lots of them. So I'm very thrilled to be part of it. And for me, you know, to be here, to make it was wonderful. Well, it's thank, all, you very much. thank you very much for coming in. How do you do? Awfully good to see you. How do you do, sir? Good to see you. And uh, we're certainly glad to have you at this premiere. This is uh, 
That's it, the big, biggest thing I've ever seen. I'm a, a little nervous, so I just want to thank you for coming in, and I hope you enjoy the picture. Thank, thank you very much. much. It's a nice to see you. So long. Lee, how are you? Fine, Jack. Lee Liberace. Jack, my mother. And my very good friend from Chicago and St. John. Hello, Won't you stand Jack. in the office? Nice to see us. Nice. It's nice to have some fellow Milwaukeeans here, well, you know? certainly is. I was born in Milwaukee. You were? Well, then we're all very happy. I wasn't born there, but I lived most of my life there. In fact, this is where we knew each other. That's Star right, Jack. It's a great thrill to be here and see Judy back in films again. Well, wait till you see. I only saw part of the picture, but she is, without a doubt, one of the real great talents of our time. It's all the place to have seeing you, Jack. Well, Bye-bye. Yes, Jack, it's my pleasure to bring I my next-to-be-needing man and his beautiful <laughs> wife. <laughs> but I, I yes. seem to remember you yes, from South Point, Stanley. It's a, Dennis, it's nice to have you with us. Thank you very much. It's nice to be here. And I, uh, while you and I didn't make this picture together, I'm doing a no. serious role in it. Are you in it? Oh, you Am I in it? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm a uh, fan of uh, the star. The Judy, Judy Garland, Judy yes. Garland. Well, James Mace is pretty good at it. <laughs> so is Charlie Bigfoot. Yeah, that's good. Dennis Lovell, nice, nice to have you with us. Thanks right. for coming down. Right. Hi. Jack is Karen Sharp and John Smith. Karen, how are you? John, awfully good to see you. It's nice a pleasure. It's awfully nice to have you with us. I, uh, I hope you, I know you're going to enjoy the picture. Well, Mr. Warner only makes the finest, so I'm sure we will. Well, so Mr. Warner, had, well, yeah, he's made some pretty good pictures at this time, but have a good time. Thank you very much. Nice to have you with us. Jack here, Debbie Reynolds and Joy Foreman. Debbie? Hello, Debbie. How are you? Hi, Hi, good to see you. Awfully nice to have Jack. you with us. Hello, nice Joey Foreman. Well, I do, I do now. I just You're really to... working here tonight, aren't you? Well, we're trying to get everybody on, and we can because I've never seen such a tremendous crowd. And... I've never been so excited in my whole life. Look at all those people. Isn't this something? This is uh, just just a tremendous well, thing. You think that uh, really uh, you think that Lindbergh had just got back from flying Atlantic or something? It's sweating you know? pretty good too. Well, it works out that way. But it's awful nice to have you with us. I Thank do you hope you enjoy the picture. Thank, Thank you very much. Very much. Kim Novak, how are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you. It's nice to have you here with us. And I, it certainly is exciting. Well, isn't it? I'm so, I'm so nervous. I'm right on the edge of my <laughs> toes. But it's, it's certainly great to have you here. And uh, I hope you enjoy the picture, Kim. Incidentally, you're very good on our picture over Columbia. Oh, thanks. I'm doing it. It's nice having you with us. Yeah. Susan Ball and Dick Long. Oh, hello, Susan. How are you? Awfully nice to see you. Dick, good to see you. Good to have you guys down here. I hope you enjoy the picture. I know you will. I know we will. Because it's a great picture. So it's nice to say hello. Have you say hello to our TV audience? Hi. Okay. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Gordon McRae. Gordon McRae and Sheila, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. You look warm, boy. You look, uh, you look just like Oklahoma there, boy. Well, it's, uh, don't have any curls tonight, old boy. It's as long as mine is. Well, yours isn't very long, but it's nice to have you here. I'm looking forward to seeing you too, old Jack. I, uh, I haven't seen it, so I'm on the tenor hooks, but uh, uh, like so, but well, I think it'll be all right. Well, it'll be Thanks for coming in, Sheila. Good to see you. Right on. Dorothy, how are you? What are you so nervous about? Oh, I don't know. You'd think this was my picture, and I only well, have a bit of it. Well, good to see you. Glad to see you. A long time, no see Yes, sir. It's awfully nice to have you with us, and I hope you enjoy the picture. Well, I, I know we will, Jack, and believe me, I think it's great because... Um, well, you're always a great star to me, and naturally, when I first came to California, I was on the same train with Judy. Uh -huh. So tonight, a star is reborn, I should say, and oh. a great star is born again. I think she's, she's always been a great star. Believe you know? me, she has. And I know you'll, you'll find her she is tonight, because she's Believe, I know that. I can't wait to see her. Good to have good you here, Dorothy. You want to go around? We're going to see her tonight, so I yeah, hope you enjoy it. I think I've seen everybody in town tonight. Okay, so. no, this is such a thrilling evening. Andy, how are you? Uh, uh, about uh, 700 between us, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, it's awful nice to have you, and I hope you enjoy the picture. I know you will. Okay. Uh, Peggy Lee, of course. How are you, Peggy? It's awfully nice to have you with us, and uh, we do hope you enjoy this, the show tonight. Isn't this the greatest thing you've ever seen? It's just... Uh, it's frightening to me, but I'm awfully glad to be part of it. It's nice to have you with us, Peggy. Tom, how are you? Good to see you. Fine, good to see you. Tom Moon, who plays a great part in the picture. You'll, you'll all enjoy him when you see the picture. Those people that are here tonight will certainly enjoy him. I know that. What's playing here tonight? Uh, something about... Oh, Star is born. That's good. Right. Of course, yes. 
Hello, Ray. How are you? Hello, Ray. How are you? Oh, you? Hello, how are you? Awfully nice to have Everybody is here. Tonight. Well, this it's a big night. Tremendous. It's a big night. You know, I, I was in the Wizard of Oz with Judy, and uh, this is another momentous occasion. I well, hear. this is really something. I, I've and never been gonna, associated you know, with that. fabulous job Oscar yourself. She did. I, I think she'll get an Oscar, Oscar for tonight. I think you're so Well, you're doing a fabulous job out here, too. Nice to see you. Good. Good to see you. Hey, Good. Gordon Scott. Gordon, how are you? Good to see you. Awfully nice to have you. So, yes, it's warm. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Nice to have you here with us, and I hope you enjoy the picture. I'm sure I will. I saw it out in Huntington Park, and I thought Oh, you saw it all right. Wonderful. Well, perfect. thank you. I haven't, I'm the only one here that hasn't seen it, I guess. You're, but. you're one of the best things in the picture. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Awfully nice to have you with us. Thank you. Right on. Who have we got next, please? Danny Park. I see Danny. Make room for Danny here. Oh, he is. Hello, oh, Danny. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Wonderful. Wonderful here tonight and real exciting for Judy and all of you. Well, it sure is exciting for me. I, I, I'm sure it is for Judy, too. It's just, I, I know it's a wonderful picture. I know well, you're going to enjoy yourself. I've seen a lot of the rushes. I've seen you a thousand times before. You're great all the time, Jack, in my book. Thank you very much, Danny. Right, Thanks for on. coming in. Right. Right. Hello, Bill. How are you? Jack. Good to see you. It's nice to see you. I Here bet I... you never worked as hard in the pictures you are tonight. Oh, you? boy. Well, we're trying to keep it going. That's what they say. We're trying to get everybody on us here. And, of course, everybody in Hollywood Can is here. Can you give me so. a job like this? I'd like to lose a little weight. <laughs> huh? I think I will tonight. Nice to see you, Jack. Nice to have you here, Bill. Tucker. The one and only Sophie Tucker. Hello, Hello. Sophie. How, How are, are you? Awfully nice to have you Thank here Thank you with us. very much. Thank you very much. We're going to stay around here. Yeah. Well, you just... How are you? Ah, you see? Thank you. don't have you. to say anything. Just walk in. That's well, all. I'm happy to be here. And I just know that with Judy, it's a, a premiere and a great opening at all times. Well, I, I think you're so right. It's awfully nice to have you Thank with you us. Thank you very much. Uh, my pleasure now, ladies and gentlemen, a man who needs no introduction, but I would like, I'm going to give him one because I think he deserves it. He is going to introduce the star of our show, the star of the picture tonight, the one and only, the Toastmaster General of the United States, Mr. George Jessel. George? Jack, I must tell the people that I have already seen the picture and that you're just great in it. Just well, great. I thank you very much. And I think that I ought to tell the folks that it was I who named Judy Garland, Judy Garland. Is that Not that it would have made any difference. You couldn't have hid that great talent if you'd called her Tel Aviv Windersill, you know? <laughs> but her name when I first met her was Frances Gum. And it wasn't the kind of a name that's so sensitive a great actress like that could have. That's what, that was, uh, her name was that when I first met her. I met her when she was nine years old. That's, I worked in a bill with her, you know? So. Yes, and sir. so we called her Judy Garland, and I think she's a combination of Helen Hayes and Al Jolson and maybe Jenny Lynn and Sarah Bernhardt. That's about she's all, all the great say. talent roles And look who's one. coming here. This Miss is an opportunity I've always wanted. This is the most <laughs> glamorous lady that the American screen has ever known, Miss Joan Crawford. Joan? Hi, Joe. Hi. You know Jack Carson, of course. I no. never saw him. <laughs> How are you, Joe? You know, this is the only time I ever meet her. I call all the time, but I can only meet her in a microphone. I've written that, too, by the way. You know something? What? May I just say one thing? Please Christmas say anything came, you want. Christmas came early this year with oh, Helen Hayes and Judy Garland. Isn't that a wonderful thing to say? That's a nice feat. Oh, Why didn't I think of it? Jack, oh, yes. well, you just got it. Wonderful to have you, boy. Am I living? Hey, oh, right? here is yeah. handsome Caesar America. <laughs> hey. Hello, 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 hello. How are you? Glad to see you. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Good good you. Well, this is one picture I'm looking forward to seeing. Well, I think everybody is, as you can tell from the crowds here. <laughs> but it's just amazing how many people turn out for this. Well, to have you with us. Hello, Marie. How are you? Marie Wilson. Of course. It's nice to have you with us. Huh? Um, I guess that this tonight is night we're going to, everybody's going to write the city a letter tomorrow. Well, I hope you write some fan mail tomorrow. Write some to me, yeah, will you, please? You but I, I know you're going to love the picture because, yeah. of course, it's a great story, and everybody else has written it except me, you know, as it turns you out. <laughs> nice to have you with us. Yeah, I know. Jack Balance, how are you? Good to see you. You feeling, feeling pretty good tonight? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. You're looking wonderful. I'm not feeling very mean. <laughs> I hope you like our picture. I'm sure you will. I'm sure we're going to. Everybody. Okay. Well, it's good to have you with us. Hello, Doris. How are you, honey? Good to see you. It's awful nice to have you. Marty, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, we're, uh, we're trying to get everybody on camera. We're just going to rush right through. We're so excited about it. Oh, you're excited? Oh. <laughs> you nervous? No, not a bit. Just a little like that. But it's nice to have you here. Hi. Hey, Marty. 
Hello, how are you? Good to see you. You too. Brian? How, how do you do? Awfully well, nice to have you with us. There's our television camera over there. We hope you enjoy the picture. Oh, this is the most exciting premiere I've ever been to. Well, it certainly is exciting for me, I'll tell you that. You know one thing, Jack, about this picture? Uh, I think it's going to live up to its advanced publicity. I thought you were the rock picture, and it was just, just wonderful. Well, I didn't, but it's, uh, I just hope it's as good as everybody says it is, because that will be the, one of the best pictures of all well, time. Well, after tonight, I think it will also be A Star is Reborn, don't you think so? Well, could be. Okay, nice to have you with us. Married couple right here. There's a new married couple here in June. How are you, friend? Nice, nice, nice to have you with us. That good of you to take time out from your domestic chores. Uh, it was a chore, yes. Yes, it was a day. We <laughs> sacrificed our part. Well, we, sure, we sure hope you like the picture. Are we on television? Yes, we're right there. That's TV over there. Okay, well, it's nice to have you with us. So long time to join the George? And now, Jack, this is the Judy that I came as a happy function. The great talent of our generation, Miss Judy Garland. Oh, my goodness. I and her know. husband and producer, Mr. Sid Love. <laughs> and the boss of all Warnerdom, oh, Jack Warner. Hello, Excuse me. Jack, how are you? Hello, Sid. How are you? Hello, Jack. Hello, honey. How are you? Think, Judy, because in a few moments, they're going to see one of the greatest motion pictures ever made with, I think, one of the great performances of all time given by yourself. George, we've been together on many, many wonderful occasions, but I really think that this is the most wonderful. For me, it's most thrilling. I hope the picture is that good. Well, it's a long jump from little Francis Gum at the Oriental Theatre yes. to Judy Garland, the most beloved singer of songs and finest young actress in America. My darling husband. Now. I know your darling husband. <laughs> he did George the whole thing. And I envy your darling husband. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? You got all you want? <laughs> <laughs> well, they never have all they want. Still, you're still on TV. Well, you know. uh, uh, I think the folks ought to know, yeah. uh, Jack, you'd had this before, but nothing like this. Now, this I've been uh, out in Hollywood all my life. I've never seen such splendor at any opening. This is uh, really the greatest opening in the history of my, say, 40 or 50 years in show business. Well, we're still on a television camera here. They're yes, you are. They're taking all these pictures down here, so... I've never seen any such a night in Hollywood since I've been here. You know, I was, right. I was telling the people, Judy. Get down here. Sid Love, the producer of the picture. I'll take up for a bite. I'm very proud to be a very small part of it, and thank you. Small part. Small part. Yeah. I'm very proud of you, darling. My wife. I want to tell you that I've never seen so many. Uh, so many action going on outside. Jack, George, thank you for go great help on the radio show. Thanks so very much. Nice to be with you, and I'll see you inside. You okay? did quite a job here. Hi. While I'm waiting for Larry Finley to come in, I want to bring Van Heflin, one of the great, wonderful actors and stars, and right beside him, Mr. and Mrs. Pat O'Brien. All of you come on in here and say hello. Well, Pat, I don't think we need to guess about how great this picture's going to be, do we? Well, the old mama, alma mater has put it over again. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't right. it? I wish we had time to get some real wonderful stories from you two, but this is a madhouse, oh, and well, everybody loves it. Nice to have a madhouse. Thank you, Pat. Great, George. God bless you. This is the rate. This is really it. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you darling. Hi, Larry. Yes. Yes. Take over quick. I've got Larry Finley at my side, a great pal. Very, very popular here in Southern California with his late show. Larry, Jack did a pretty good job. I'm going to leave the rest of this to you for You've a few minutes. You've done a good job, too, George. Thank, you. thank you very much. Ben uh, Alexander. Yes, Ben Alexander. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Ben Alexander, a voice and a face that's very familiar good. with everyone in Southern California. Thank you, Larry. It's really good to see you, Ben. We're very excited about seeing this picture, and we're excited about the returns of our other Warner Brothers picture, Dragnet. Dragnet, oh, and you did a fine great. job in that, too, Ben. Sorry, my partner isn't here tonight. I'm sorry. Well, how about giving out a call for the people, huh? Well. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Ben. Thank Thanks, you, Mr. Larry. Larry. Bye. Larry, yes, here's sir. a beautiful Shelley Winters. Oh, and this is the beautiful Shelley Winters. Hello, and thank you. Shelley, you look better than I've ever seen you look. Well, mean thank that. you. I'm very, very happy tonight for Judy. It's a great, great occasion. Isn't that wonderful? How's the family, darling? Oh, right? just wonderful. My baby's watching. Hello, darling. How are you? You can say hello to your baby. <laughs> Shelley, wonderful seeing you here. Oh, yes, Miss Sonia Henny, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Are you? And Sonia, you look just as charming off skates as you do on them, too. Thank you. Sonia, I know that you're going to see a great picture in just a few moments, in fact. I know I do. Thank, Thank you, you, darling, so much. And Sheridan. Uh, Jack. And yes, oh, Jack, no. good to see you. And do you want to look up at our television cameras oh, so people can take a on. real there good is. look at you? Oh. It's a very confusing night here tonight. Oh, I know. It's quite a crowd. And wonderful seeing you. And I know you'll enjoy Judy's performance, especially in the stars' point. Thank, Thank you, Jack. Thank you very much. Nice seeing you.
Hello, Lauren. How are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. And this is Lauren Bacall, ladies and gentlemen, as if I had to tell you. You look just wonderful, darling. <laughs> thank you very much. I know thank you'll enjoy you. the picture tonight. Oh, too, I Lauren. know I will. Thank you, darling, so much yeah. for coming up and chatting with us. Janet Lee. Janet Lee. Hello, how are you? And where, and, and where, where, where's the better half? Hi, uh, Tone. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Pardon me, dear. You go right yeah, ahead. I was going to say, I don't know whether I like that or not, the better half. The better half? Well, I think a man always says the better half. If there's a girl up here, she'd call you the better half. So you don't object, right. do you? No, that's uh, all right. It's certainly nice seeing you, Janet. Thank and you, Tony. You. Hate to rush you through, but we have oh, so many I people we know. that we're, we're, we're going to get to. And uh, the very beautiful Sue Carroll and uh, Mr. Alan Ladd. Sue, how are you, how are you darling? Thank you. Hello, Alan. How are you? Good to see you. Real good to see you. You folks got here just in time. You know, the curtain's going up in just a few moments. Yeah, we We've got the tickets. We'll get right in. We got the, did we show the folks what the tickets look like? These are your tickets for A Star is Born, right? They're very pretty, aren't they? Awesome. They certainly are. Uh, Sue, thank you. Okay. Uh, Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz uh, standing off uh, stage. Okay. Just back from Del Mar. And here she is, the world's greatest handicapper. Hi, Hi, Lucille. Larry. Hi darling. Hi, Hi Desi. Larry. Glad to see you. Good to see you. Well, it certainly is a night of nights here, isn't it, Desi? It sure it's is one the of greatest. Them. It's the greatest. It's the greatest. I'm so excited about it. Judy and James and George Cukor and everybody else in this picture are going to take all of the Academy Awards. Academy Awards that they have. I think you're right. I'm you're sure right. of it. I think you're right. I'm I sure can hardly wait to see it. But how is this great? Like now to present one of my favorite actresses of all time. I need only let you look at her, and you can guess Claire Trevor. Oh, that's so sweet of you. I want to say that tonight is uh, one of those thrilling evenings when you realize a star is born, and I guess it really is tonight. Well, if you it? could have seen Judy when she arrived about 10 or 15 minutes ago, it was fantastic. A new birth, mm -hmm. because she has already been a star. Well, I want to say uh, hello to everyone. Hi, Chuck. <laughs> Thanks, Claire Trevor. Thank you, George. So nice to see you. Coming to our camera now, very wonderful actress and very great lady of the screen, Miss Greer Garson, and she is not with her 12 men tonight. Greer, so nice to see you. As a matter of fact, I'm not with any men at all tonight. My mother is my date tonight because Buddy's in Texas. He'd be very sorry to miss this occasion. My goodness, it's wonderful, is not it? Oh, this has been a, a night that few people in Hollywood are going to forget, you can believe me. Well, this is Hollywood at its most Hollywood, isn't yes, it? Yes, indeed. And we're all looking forward so much to seeing this picture. Thank you so very much. I've been uh, working on location in Tucson for the last six weeks, and I'm so glad we got back in You're time. You're doing Strange Lady in Town that's with right. Mr. Leroy, Cam Mitchell. That's right. I that's don't know right. the rest of the cast, but oh, I know that Dana he had Andrews delight. Oh, Dana Andrews and uh, some very interesting actors you will see it we um i was strange lady on the desert we were in arizona tucson it was very hot but i'm delighted that we got back in time to see a star is born because it's a picture with one of my very very favorite people in show business and a very favorite director coming from you miss garson even thank judy you. would be pleased thank oh, you so much wishing her the best of luck tonight thank you goodbye thank you. another great friend of mine and a, a very beautiful i'd like to think of her as the marilyn monroe of our set and that is to say the female columnist Lovely Sheila Graham. Sheila, did you have a hard time in there? Well, it was a little grueling, George, and how did you do out here? Well, I didn't have such a bad time. Jack Carson and Jessel took over for a good bit of it, and uh, it was pretty wild when Judy came in, I'll say I that. I know, yes. She came in, unfortunately, too late to go on our show. Oh, what Wasn't a shame. That same, she missed it by just a minute or just two. Just a minute, yes. But isn't this wonderful, George? This, I, this is so glamorous, and Hollywood Boulevard looks so exciting tonight. We're now looking at the tail end of this fabulous premiere, the last few minutes, and in about four minutes, the picture will go on. Earl Wilson, ladies and gentlemen, one of the great columnists of our country. I don't know what he's doing in Hollywood when his beat is New York. But Earl, it's a pleasure to have you arrive at what I consider the biggest premiere we've ever had. Well, they tell me that there's been nothing like this in at least in 10, 15 years. You, you say the biggest ever? You, you I think, think so? it's the uh, closest to the biggest I've ever seen. I've done a lot of premieres. I think it's bigger than the Academy Award, Earl, and that was the biggest thing we ever had. Well, of course. Thank you, George. Thank, Thank you very much. Earl Wilson, so very much. Uh, George Fisher speaking to you from the Pantages Theater at this fantastic and momentous uh, premiere of A Star is Born. I hope you've enjoyed the proceedings. Thank you very much. Now let's go Hollywood. <laughs>